this is an activity that a lot of people are going to be uh, performing in the next 24 hours or so with the winter weather event coming our way. But it's all about how you shovel. This, by the way, is Dr. Justin Felsman with Ed Justin Chiropractic here in Quincy. What could happen if you don't shovel the right way? So if you don't shovel the right way, if you bend <laughs> with the back and twist and don't do things right, um, what will end up happening is you'll end up getting some low back pain. You'll get a signal that comes in from the spinal nerve roots that are run to the spinal cord and up to the brain saying pain, potential uh, disc problems and disc bulges um, could result in some, some pain even going down the legs. So yes, there's there's a lot of things that can happen. And you said that some people have already come in this week with the, that kind of pain. Correct. Yeah, they they do improper lifting technique and from the snow we just had, and then they end up, you know, end up hit, injuring the low back. Okay, so right now we're getting a free consultation from Dr. J, and he's going to show us through me how we should shovel properly. So you say, what is the first step? So the first step is to bend down with the knees, okay. with your legs, get down, shovel pick up and then throw straight in front of you. Correct. Okay, so it's all about using the leg. I'm telling you guys, this is a workout in and of itself, but at least I'm doing it safely so that I don't have lower back pain later. That's correct. And yes. you said there's actually something we should be doing inside before we ever head outside to shovel. So a good piece of advice is, is warming up um, before you even go out there, because if your back is, is cold, it's, you don't have the blood flow going there, you go out and you're not warmed up, then it's you're at even an increased risk for injuring your low back. It reminds me of an athletic event. All the athletes <laughs> have to go outside and, and warm up before they go and perform on the, the court or on the field. We need to be doing that before we go out and shovel snow as well. Well, yes. coming up on KHQA this morning, we're going to have more. And you want to Pay attention to KHQA.com. Right now we have a lot of school and event cancellations coming in as we speak. So keep it tuned here at KHQA. Stop shoveling. I don't want to deliver a baby today. <laughs> I don't mean I don't want that to happen. Well, as Melissa's due date quickly approaches uh, here in KHK this morning, this week we're putting some, well, today specifically, putting mm -hmm. old wives' tales to the test. All week we're going to try to predict the sex of the baby because we, we just don't know yet. Well, a little bit earlier we tried to see if Melissa favored a sweet snack or a salty snack, and she picked sweet, which supposedly means she's going to have a girl. But that's not the only test we tried. Check this out. But well, one key to finding out the sex of a baby, according to Old Wives' Tale, is to use, well, a key. If a pregnant lady picks up the round end, it's supposedly a boy. By the long, narrow end, it's a girl. Let's put Melissa to the test. Hey, Melissa. Oh, I dropped my key. Would you mind picking that up for me? What's this for? Oh, no reason. Thanks. <laughs> You're so sneaky. At least I dropped it on her desk and not on the floor right. to make her bend up. Yeah, so it was nice. still kind of cordial. Mm -hmm. So that is um, three girls. Three girls, one boy. Mm -hmm. uh, also, they're wanting names. If mm -hmm. you remember when she had her first a uh, few years ago and her second, viewers picked the names, Brindley and Brooklyn. So she and her husband are asking for you to pick a name. So you can go to khqa.com right now, submit your name. At this point, we're taking boy and girl names. And uh, on Friday, when we find out the sex, then we can whittle it down from there. That's right. And the rest of the week, we're going to be continually putting her through tests, but different different ones. Yesterday's the puppies, today's old wives' tales. We're going to continue all week to find out whether it's a girl or a boy. Mother Nature putting us to the test again with another.